Hello everyone, this is Cody Lee of BlackCatBooks.org, author of Eye of the Dragon, Cruel and Beautiful, Rabbit Hole, Lauren Frame, the upcoming Jaw of the Dragon. With the release of Hogwarts Legacy and it far outstripping the success and popularity of Elden Ring, I think it's safe to say the next gen of consoles is here. Uh, finally, after a handful of years, we're finally getting games that people actually want to experience and play. And honestly, it feels like this might actually be a more successful generation game-wise than the PS4 one was. You know, I've actually seriously considered picking up Hogwarts Legacy. I, I actually I actually do want to play it. If it wasn't for like, you know, deeply held personal beliefs, I wouldn't be playing it right now. But, you know, when a, for, all in, for all intents and purposes though, like when you get right down to it, I think I think uh, we are in this phase where we are, it can't expect to see more games coming out on PS5 and Series X. Uh, we're getting Mortal Kombat 12 soon, Tekken 8 is coming. Uh, I, I think Final Fantasy 16 is coming. Like, there are a lot of big, major products coming out in the next couple of years or so. This is, I think, the PS5 and Series X's, uh, the, the next generation's uh, golden age period. This is going to be, like, the moment where, like, all these big budget games that have been developed since before the console was even launched finally start coming out, and we finally get a good sense of, like, where we're at, like, creatively, where the industry is going, what we can expect from these studios going forward, and, and just how good everything is going to be. And it's an interesting generation because a lot of IPs from the last couple of gens have died. Uh, you know, Metal Gear is gone. Uh, there are a handful of other properties I can name that that aren't coming back or anything. Like, there are all these things to talk about and to um, to bring up. But But it does feel... Like, there's a lot more enthusiasm around certain kinds of products this time. And and it does kind of feel as if people are more gravitating towards, like, you know, really genuinely good, interesting experiences rather than the stuff that, like, uh, the corporate suits want you to play. You know, like, Multiverses, you know, it had a big shill campaign for the first couple of months dropped off the face of the earth, right? You know, Suicide Squad looks like it's going to be a complete disaster. Uh you know, there have been all these other games that, are, that have come out, been hyped up, and, and kind of been forgotten after a couple of weeks. But on the flip side, you have games that people seem to actually enjoy. You have stuff like Elden Ring. You have stuff like Hogwarts Legacy. Like, I'm sure Tekken 8 is going to be popular. Like, it, it feels like there is starting to become a divide between, like, actual serious gamers and people who are just, like, latching on to, like, the new popular thing right and, and i'm curious um i'm curious how severe this divide is going to be going forward like i'm, I'm serious I, i'm i'm wondering just whether we're going to see more companies go under in the next couple of years and, and like I, I do think there are a handful of, of of companies that we can expect to like have massive failures uh for example square enix uh they've been making nothing but bad decisions for years now final fantasy 16 looks like it might be a franchise killer we haven't seen enough for that of that to uh to really talk about in any meaningful capacity but it seems like that might be the case it seems like we might actually have the situation where Square Enix just puts out a Final Fantasy game and it doesn't really take off. It has too much stiff competition from from other properties. We have we have like uh, God of War Ragnarok uh, didn't do as well as the original God of War. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West uh, failed. You know, like uh, there the, the, it just seems like um, the the PlayStation bubble has kind of burst. You know, like in that sense, where like the the big notable exclusive titles on PlayStation, the one that like people were the ones that people were hyping up as like the best in the industry, they are falling by the wayside in favor of superior Nintendo exclusives and the superior multiplats, uh, stuff like Hogwarts Legacy, stuff like Elden Ring, stuff like that. Like I think, I think more and more we are going to see that there is going to be more of a rejection of a lot of these a lot of these titles that are supposed to be like the big new thing from from PlayStation and Xbox. You know, Halo Infinite didn't didn't do very well. I um I'm really interested in seeing where this goes from here. Uh this is probably going to be like the uh, a big period of growth for PS5 and Xbox Series X. This is going to be the the period of time where they like uh, pull in the most consumers when they're putting out the most games. Uh how exactly is this going to stack up against the competition. I am really excited to see that play out.